Today on this episode, I'd like to show you a comparison and really more of a review on this battery, this smaller Duracell battery for maybe a canoe or, or a kayak application compared to this full-sized deep cycle battery. I intentionally did not choose to go with a lithium battery. I realized the lithium is much lighter, the pros and the cons to it but the price tag was astronomical, comparatively speaking. And I wanted to see what this AGM battery would do. So stick around, watch the video, and see for yourself. So if you've seen my other videos, you'll know uh, for my canoe modification, I added this um, cooler case, if you will, to hold my battery for the trolling motor. And this, I've been running uh, this deep cycle, uh, what is ultimately a marine battery uh, for, well, look at this, uh, 2016, and it is now 2023. And it's fine. I mean, it's been running well. I've not had a problem with it. It lasts all day long, in many cases, all weekend long for the purpose of what I've got. I've just got a 30 pound thrust trolling motor uh, on on the uh, on the canoe so i decided because i'm tired of lugging this thing around uh, i've decided to switch it i'm switching it over to try uh, we, we thought about doing lithium batteries but the price tag of the lithium battery is just insane so i'm going to give this a try here thinking even though it's only 35 amp hours it's much lighter i'm going to weigh these in just a moment here i've got my scale out here but um uh, i was told that this should be able to run my trolling motor because I'm not running it consistently at full throttle um, because according to what I've read in the in the manual at full speed it pulls 30 amps the trolling motor does so that means that I would be able to run this guy for one hour and the thing would be gone but and you know when you're fishing you're probably running it at low speeds here and there. When I'm in my canoe, I get into the spot, I'm, I shut it off. And sometimes I'll just be coasting and drifting. So many times I'm thinking about how much time am I spending if I were out for six hours in a day, uh, is that trolling motor running and is it running on full speed or not? So midway on average, when I was looking at some of the data on here, it said that the trolling motor really is about 15 amp hours. So if that's the case, that'd be a constant run time of two hours with this battery uh, according to uh, whatever metrics that 35 amp hours is so we're going to see how this thing works uh, I'll show you also the weight on some of these uh, the differential here is pretty insane just on these two batteries but again the not sure if it was worth going to the lithium just for weight that's all I needed because again this thing ran perfectly fine it's just a beast to carry around and put in the canoe. So I'll show you the weight here in just a second. So you can see, I wish I could put it in a different way here. You can see this is 49 and a half pounds in the cooler case in itself. So 49 and a half pounds for the original battery. Now I put the uh, small 35 amp hour battery in here and it's 28.8 pounds again with the cooler on it um, I weighed this independently just the battery in itself let's see what it comes up as 24 almost 25 pounds so this little cooler weighs three pounds roughly and this weighs 25 pounds this guy's 50 pounds so half the weight i appreciate that that's for sure well we're gonna see i'm gonna test it out on the water we're gonna see how well it runs on a full day of being out in the, in the uh, canoe running the trolling motor i'll let you know how it goes all right so here's what it looks like i've got it sitting in here now i just cut out a little bit of foam that i had laying around here to give it a uh, space and then I put a little bit back here to prevent it from rocking around when the boat moves it won't move anywhere I added my inline fuse to it uh, so yeah and like a dummy I guess I'll just fix this little flap because it's bugging me but uh, all in all 
uh, much lighter seems to be good I've got some room to put some additional things inside here but I really want to keep it open let it breathe and do its thing uh, I'll let you know how it works on the water okay so we're on the water now we've got the trolling motor set up we've even got a little depth finder set up as well we're gonna see how well this guy runs so far it's been really good we just got set up power's fine We'll see how long it works. All right, here we go. Full speed. I'm gonna run this thing uh, pretty good. It's a decent sized lake we're on here, not huge, but uh, we'll run it, see how it goes. This is full speed for us here. So the on-the-water test is done. We were out uh, from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. So that gives us four hours on the water. And we ran it about, I'd say 50, maybe a little bit more than 50% of the time. <clears throat> so for two hours, we had it going typically on one or two. We did scoot across the lake, as you could see a few times, <clears throat> maxed out the, the strength of the motor. And let's see. So I put it back on the charger here. Let's see what we got for... I'll start this thing up. What charge we had left. So here we go. 67% battery life left after roughly two hours. Plus I had my little Garmin depth finder attached to it. Um, and that was running parallel with it. I, I, I've been told you're not supposed to do that. Uh, I've done it multiple times. Many times I do have a separate little battery for it. That battery just died and I connected it here, but it seemed to work good. So the day's complete. The testing is done. The test in itself worked great. Very happy with the battery. Very happy with the way that it performed. Um, as you can see, four hours on the water, two hour, more than two hour run time continuously. And uh, we also had our Garmin fish finder attached to it as well. And there was 67% battery life left. So that's great. Um, you know, the conditions were pretty uh, good, sunny, but 11 mile an hour breeze constantly in our face. So uh, that was fine. We didn't catch many fish, unfortunately, only caught a couple of dinks. Uh, Maybe I should spend some more time watching my friend's channel that he's got called Camp and Cast. You should check that channel out. He's got some really good videos and some excellent tips for you guys if you're interested in fishing. I definitely need to watch his channel more. But uh, anyway, again, it wasn't about the fishing as it was about the testing of the battery. So very happy with it. Very happy with the weight. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting this out on the water for a long time to come. Hope this video has helped you out. Feel free, please, again, leave any comments or questions below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great one.